Okay, let's, uh, we're going to go to the next section, but let's just review the data because we're going to be referring to this data. The following data give the total number of iPods sold by a mail order company on each of 30 days. So on, uh, say, the first day they sold 8, the next day they sold 25, the next day they sold 11, and so on. All right, now let's go back, let's go to the next section that we're working on, which is called cumulative frequency distributions, cumulative frequency distribution. A little different. We did frequency distributions already. Now we're doing cumulative frequency distributions. Okay, and um, so here's the data. How many days did they sell between 5 and 9? 3 days. How many days did they sell between 10 and 14? 6 days. How many days did they sell between 15 and 19? 8 days. And so on. 25 to 29? 5 days. Okay? Okay, so what we mean by the cumulative, we still will have the same class limits. So 5 to 9, um, well, sorry, 5 to 9, 5 to 14, 5 to 19, 5 to 24, 5 to 29. So these are the same. The endpoints are the same, but the, these all start at the very beginning one. So we said that uh, the class boundaries would be then 4.5 to 9.5, and there were three in there. Okay, now, though, we stretch it out. So we go from here to here. So then how many are there? There's 3 plus the 6 that were in here, so that's 3 plus 6, that's 9. Then we stretch it out further, we go from here to here, and how many are there there? It's 3 plus 6 plus 8, 3 plus 6 plus 8, 17. The next one's going to be 3 plus 6 plus 8 plus 8, 25, 3 plus 6 plus 8 plus 8 plus 5 is 30. Okay, so we get this table. This is called the cumulative frequency distribution of iPod salt. So it's the cumulative one. Now, how do we graph this? We graph it like this. Uh, when we go from 4.5, so at 4.5 there were still 0, but when we get to 9.5 the total sold is 3. When we get to 1 point, I'm sorry, 14.5 it goes up to, what was it? It goes up to 9. So this is 9. When we get to 19.5, it goes up to what? 20, uh, 17. And then here is 25. And finally, 30. Okay? And this is called the OGIVE for the cumulative frequency distribution. Okay, so finally, we get up to all of the ones that are in the sample are sold. Now what if we convert, as we've done many times before, from the um, <coughs> from the actual frequencies 3, 9, 17, 25, 30, if we divide that by the total, just like we've done so many times already. So we get 3 divided by 30, because the total was 30. We get 9 divided by 30. 17 divided by 30, 25 divided by 30, and finally 30 divided by 30. Now 30 divided by 30 is what? Is 1. So finally at the end, we get 1. And so we get uh, 3 divided by 30, 9 divided by 30, 17 divided by 30, 25 divided by 30, and always at the end we're going to get the total number divided by 30, which is going to give us 1. So we get we go from so if we do it in terms of uh, cum cumulative relative frequencies, we're going to go 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.8, whatever, 1. And if we change it to percentage, it's going to be 10%, 30%, 50%, 83, sorry, 56.7%, 83.3%, 100%. Okay? So one thing to notice is that these numbers will always be increasing, or I should say they can never be decreasing, right? You can't, you, this, if this is 1, I'm sorry, 0.1, or let's go back to here. If this is 3, 
this number can never be less than 3, right? It, it can be 3. It can still be 3 if nothing happened in this interval. If there were 0 in that interval, it could still be 3, but it can never be less than 3. Okay, so that means that this graph can never decrease. It can never go up and then down. It can go up and then be flat for a while, but it can never go up and then down. Okay? Okay. So this is the OGIVE, but if we change this, I don't know why they didn't do it here, but um, if we change this to uh, relative, uh, cumulative relative frequency, then the graph is going to be what? It's going to start, it's going to be exactly the same shape, but the top point is going to be 1. So it's going to go from 0% or from, point z from 0 to 1. Okay, I don't know why they didn't plot that, but normally you would definitely want to plot the cumulative relative frequency. Okay, but don't forget this is a cumulative one, so that it can never be decreasing. So an OGIVE curve is drawn for the cumulative frequency distribution by joining with straight lines, so these are all straight lines, the dots marked above the upper boundaries of classes, so the upper boundary of the second class is 9.5, right? The upper boundary was, sorry, uh, right, uh, was 9, but it's between 9 and the next one was 10, so it's between 9 and 10, so it's 9.5 and so on. So um, the upper boundaries of classes at heights equal at heights, so the height above 9.5 is equal to the cumulative frequencies of the respective classes. So that sounds so confusing, but this picture is pretty obvious, I think. Okay? Okay. So you should go through s these uh, problems. And we'll continue with uh, stem and leaf plots next.